or anything out there that wants to talk to don't, us? Don't ask. Sam, don't take that. This is your show, mate. Grow a pair. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome. In this channel, I'm diving into ghost hunting and the paranormal. Straight up, I'm a skeptic. Ghost hunting videos are a guilty pleasure of mine. But whether you believe in things that go bump in the night or not, please leave a comment. Either way, I'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe. Today, we're with Sam and Kobe, along with their entourage at the Lizzie Borden house. It's the site of one of the most infamous crimes in American history, the brutal axe murders of Lizzie's father and stepmother in 1892. Lizzie was accused, tried, but acquitted, and the true murderer was never found, making this an unsolved mystery. The case has attracted tons of documentaries, YouTubers, and, for some reason, ghosts. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are here with Katrina, Stoss, and our new friend Amanda. Bueno. Who is actually a medium. Hey you guys, my name is Amanda Ray, and for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm a medium, which means that I can see and speak to people who have passed on. This has been something that I've been doing since before I was even really able to speak. Oh, Amanda's gonna be fun. She's been in a bunch of Simon Kobe videos, and she has her own channel that I haven't got around to checking out just yet but she does not fail to deliver. She can see and talk to dead people, which is fantastic because tonight we're staying overnight at the most famous US unsolved murder mystery house, the Lizzie Borden house. Is this really the most appropriate wares when you're making a video about a gruesome unsolved murder? What if Robert Stack from Unsolved Mysteries dressed in a similar way? Amanda, do you think you could like talk to these people? Well, I mean, the whole reason that I'm here is because a lot of YouTubers use equipment, like dowsing rods, things like that that they say work. I don't trust machines. You guys took it one step further and <laughs> found somebody who can actually communicate straight with the dead, oh, so God. I'm oh, super boy. excited. This is why Amanda is useful. Why use gadgets and toys to feed your bullshit when you've got a living, breathing person to do it for you? On this trip without knowing anything. She specifically asked not to know the information. Wait. So you're trying to tell me Amanda knew nothing about this location? At the most famous US unsolved murder mystery house. It's a hugely famous unsolved mystery. Countless books and documentaries have been made about this place. And you're telling me Amanda knew nothing about the history before arriving to the house. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. Margaret's through that window. She Wait, just what, the, what? this one? This purple one right here. She's just staring at you? No, she just walked that way. That'd be rude. Staring's rude. Lying is also rude. All right, let's go in. I think we're at the top floor too. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the creepy door. Oh. oh my gosh. Something's like knocking oh, in the wall already. Just, I just heard that. I just heard that. Already shit happens when you bring people like me here. It's like a lighthouse. I know I'm picking on Amanda a lot early in the video, but get used to it because she brings it all on herself. She has such an aggressive strategy to self-promote. I understand that to get ahead on the YouTube ghost hunting game, you need a gimmick of some kind, but Amanda goes real hard. Already she's saying Sam and Kobe need her to awaken the spirits. I mean, they've been awakening spirits for God knows how many videos. So we're going up to the attic right now. Which is apparently the most haunted place. There's a lot of regret in this room. That's the woman that I saw coming into the house that stepped outside. <laughs> That's Maggie. Maggie. Who literally lied on the court stand to protect Lizzie, aka guilt. I would like to keep going, but I can tell you Lizzie did not kill her parents. Whoa, oh, that is a big That's accusation. Crazy. Holy shit. Yeah. It's not an accusation, it's a claim. You can't accuse someone of being innocent. But what really annoys me is I wanted to say the bigger claim is talking to the dead. But because Kobe said the wrong fucking word, the joke doesn't fucking work. Because I can't say the bigger accusation is speaking to the dead, because that doesn't make sense, because it's not the right word. <sighs> Calm down. Okay, continue. Yeah, okay. okay. Before we start, Jack, can you uh, give a little introduction who you are? So, when did Joe Exotic get out of jail? Lizzie's bedroom. You were right. She literally <laughs> called it that this was Lizzie's bedroom without knowing. This okay. was Emma's bedroom. It's more like they had one big room they shared. When they were younger, they were kind of flip-flop. Like, rooms were switched. 
This is gonna go from funny to tedious real quick, isn't it? This is the room where Lizzie was actually arrested. If you look up there on the wall, you see a picture of Lizzie's jury. They're all male, they're all Caucasian. Fucking white males! She's sitting right, right there. Right? Yeah, yeah. You wanna pull that back, so I pulled it right above her head. Okay. This is the most these girls do in the whole video. I know I've edited a bunch out, but go check the real thing. They don't do anything. They don't say anything. There's no point in them being here. Now slowly, slowly <laughs> with one hand, just bring it down. Oh. It's, it's not real. Do it like you mean it. Yeah, there you go. But that's gonna pull blood, brain, bone. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be a hot mess, right? If there were spirits in the house, I would imagine they'd find all this a little disrespectful. Guys, we're going to the basement. Wait, what? Fun with the demon? She just said, have fun with the demon. If you hold your camera up, right, and you take a picture with the flash on, sometimes people will see a face on the wall looking back at them. And there's oh, wait. mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, oh, totally. it does. Let's see that. And scrunch up your eyes. Uh-huh. Really tight. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you see? Cool. I think we're gonna start this investigation then. Thank you so <laughs> yeah, much. I appreciate it. This whole house. Yeah, I'm gonna come in closer to Colby again. Even with all the big red arrows, I can't see any orbs. Is that just me? Let me know in the comments if you see anything, guys. We're not here to hurt you. We're not here to bother you. We're just here to communicate with you. You have all of these toys in this room. We're here with love and light. We hope that you feel the same thing. Are you serious? The hair falls down in the most natural way possible. If you're going to say a ghost is playing with someone's hair, it has to be thrown up in the air or pulled to the side or something, you know, supernatural. She doesn't even react to it. Come on, guys, have a little higher standards for evidence. This is embarrassing. This is where his head was beaten. Yeah. Let me take it away. Why would it be doing that? Because he's moving away from me. Oh, he That's was... why I'm following him. Wait, where's he going? Where's he trying to go? Away from me. Is the ghost Spider-Man? Eh. What the fuck? Dude, what? Why is he up there? Because he hates me. He doesn't like you? He hates that I can see him. Then leave it alone, you creep. I see it get worse. Yeah. It's going down now, now that you've been up oh, there. Don't worry. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Absolutely anything you love to tell us, we just want to capture your message and show it to the world. <sighs> you guys are getting like so choked up in here. Why? I don't know. I'm getting like a really like lump in my throat. Tell me you're jealous of the other women hugging all the attention without telling me you're jealous. When I communicate with spirits, if I'm not able to hear them directly, sometimes they make me feel how they thought when they died. Which is, to be honest, the worst part about what I do. I've come across a man who had metal go through his skull and I had the most splitting headache. But that's something that spirits do whether or not you can see and speak to them directly to I let you know it. their story. Amanda ain't sharing that spotlight, ladies. It's all about her tonight. Mr. Borden, we know you took Lizzie's pigeons and killed them with a hatchet. What was that all about? It's because they were vermin. Vermin? Vermin, uh, wild animals that are uh, harmful or that carry diseases like rodents, like pests. You guys had to look up what vermin is? Have you never seen Ratatouille? And there's a reason that you stay here. Maggie, we're coming in if you want to talk. Is she in here with us right now? Yeah. Can you see her? No, right now I can just feel her. Will you please come sit down in front of the ironing board with us? We'd love to have a conversation, sit down and talk to you. Well, is there anything out there that wants to talk to don't. us? Don't ask. Sam, don't take that. This is your show, mate. Grow a pair. We should stop. Really? Really? Yeah, we're done. Is it that bad? It's pretty bad. Like in this room bed, or like just in for the night bed? 
think we should stop. I've talked to you guys about how there are things that come through who can physically touch us, this mm -hmm. can physically touch us. Like this is the shit that we don't mess with. This is the shit that you don't acknowledge. Don't talk to it. Don't act like it's there. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. Shut up, man. I have power over this thing. It has no power over us. Don't be scared. You're stronger than this thing is. It can't touch you unless you let it touch you. I just got really lightheaded. <laughs> That's great. Light you need to leave. Oh my god. There was always a spiritual war going on. Mm -hmm. Like no matter what religion you believe, Buddhists, Muslims, Christians, Catholics, Jews, there is a spiritual war going on 24 seven between good and evil. Sometimes the evil kicks ass. Sometimes you've got to kick it back. Sorry to interrupt Amanda's Ghostbusters audition here, but I think now is as good a time as any to mention that the Lizzie Borden house sold for a whopping $2 million and has been turned into an Airbnb. It's just another haunted house attraction that the YouTubers have made popular. Maggie, Lizzie, Andrew, they're not down here. Yeah. So what is? <laughs> Something negative. You get asked for a seance, don't eat sprouts for a week or anything like that. Rich, I swear to God, one fart, the whole show's over. Here's the thing. I totally understand that what you guys do is your job, but you guys are messing with something that's bigger than yourselves. If you want to do it for views, I respect that. For me, I live with this on a daily basis. You're not going to get anything beneficial. It's not going to give you that. You know what it is? Yes. It is here. Yes. Did it leave when you told it to? No. no Shut the no. fuck up! Am I the only one who finds this cringe as fuck? Yo! No! There's a fucking. Did you? A fucking shadow just went. See, see, see this like window right here? A fucking shadow just went like that. No, I'm just shaking to that. I'm just shaking to that. You just, I yeah. That's why I said we need to leave. Tell you I have physical reactions. We need to get the fuck out. 153. Tell me in the comments if you can actually fake the heart rate on a watch. The way she ran away from the camera, kind of messed around a little bit, and then walked back showing the watch looks kind of fishy to me. Oh my fucking yeah, god. Yeah, th that's what I'm saying. My heart's beating really fast too. I just got chills. I got chills. What did you see? See how you can see the light from this room barely? From the red, I know like our light is on, but you can barely see like another light's on in there. Yeah. The entire light disappeared and went whew, Like just like a giant, like big object moved across it and just completely blocked like this light. Because I, I literally, like I thought it was, it looked like this, like light going back, like by, behind you like this. Yeah. Uh, but there was something behind you. All these shadow men lurking around all the corners and the camera picked up nothing. Oh, dang it. Before that happened, I still feel it now, but my heart's like racing, and that, that is a rare thing for me. Are you kidding me, mate? Your heart goes racing more than you saying Bolt. I told you guys wait 30 seconds before. Hey, we're done. Yeah. And then we wait 30 more seconds and shit hits the fan. Jesus Christ, she sounds like my wife. I told you so. God, please stop. Yeah. Ow. Oh my God. Oh my Holy fucking, fucking God. shit. You heard that, right? Yes. That was not any of us. Was that in the dining room? Yeah. We, we just referenced that shit. Dude, no. My heart is falling. Do you see this? Like the green, if this was us that like <gasps> turned it on, it would have been a motion sensor right here. We walked this way and turned green, but then it turned green. So it like would have had to have been someone in something there. Something in there. Something was in there. Why is Amanda surprised by this? All night she's been saying that she's been seeing ghosts and demons and whatever else. But as soon as the light turns on, her jaw starts dropping. The sun is rising. It's what, like 5 a.m. right now? We survived the night. We survived the night. I love how ghost hunters say they survived the night in an old empty house like that's any real kind of danger. I used to regularly walk home at night after finishing work in Hammersmith. That was dangerous. This is where the video ends. Amanda steals the show, which was very much intentional. Attention is a hell of a drug. I'm sure she'll appear again in another one of my videos. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know if there are any other ghost hunting videos you'd like me to review.
Cheerio.